Hey guys, I'm Bruce Mahorn, and today me and my dad are going to try to catch some daytime flatheads on cut bait. We were fishing on the weekend, so we got out early to beat the boat traffic. Got to fish on. On top. Grayson's trying out the new medium action big cat fever rod. It's the first time he's messed with one. Up to the boat. To the boat. Nice boy. Let me uh, bug in here. I like the action on that thing, a little more fun. Mm -hmm. Got a little more fun. There you go, down to that. That's a she, Daddy. That's a she. That's a she. Okay. Right, there's Grayson's first one of the day. Nice blue. Is it rolling? Yes, it's on. Yep, it's on there. We didn't even get that other rod back out yet. We got another one, that one. Nice. He's a good one. Never can tell with these rods that... Yeah, they got a little more bend to them, which is nice. Makes it a little more fun on these medium-sized fish. Plus, we're fishing lakes. We don't have any real current. We're not putting out a ton of weight, so we really don't need a big, heavy action rod. Another one a little bit bigger. Oh, boom, quick release at the boat. Bam, that's two fish in a hurry coming off about the same, same little area right there on the channel drop. Uh, we're anchored up and what are we anchored in? We're sitting in about 14, 15 feet of water. There's a steep drop on the channel edge. It drops down to about 35 feet. We're right, got baits on the edge of it. And uh, two fish fairly quickly. Wow, we got two rods sitting here. And watch out, there's an anchor out there. We got two rods sitting here that have not been put back in the water. We just caught those two fish. Grayson, this is what I'm used to. Yeah, that one's, uh, that's on one of the bigger Big Cat Fever rods. And that bent over like those. That one went over and pulled a little bit of line off. It's a better fish. Pretty sure. Let me get these. Like I said, I ain't even got these rods back in the water yet. Not that 40 pound black I got two of them sitting here. They're not even in the water. And this one goes. We've been sitting here probably we're sitting here probably 10 minutes. Just got set up. We're anchored. We're trying to anchor up early before the boat traffic gets out here. And uh, boom, 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 rods are going off. So uh we picked the right spot. What are you saying, son? It's definitely a little 40 pound flathead. That's in another video if you missed it. That was a good fish, wasn't it? That looks like that fish has got a little bit of backbone to it, buddy. He's kind of going where he wants to. Let's watch out. You got an anchor line right here. If I mean, if he goes to it, fine. We'll deal with it. Go across the top of that. There you go. Good angling. Good angling, pal. Yeah. I don't know how far this one was out. He's, I think you may be into that line. If you are, that's fine. I'm trying to get him out of the anchor rope. Yeah, let's see if we can get that good anchor rope watch. Trying to get him to come over here. Let's see. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let me see there. Uh, hang on. Go under. Uh, let's see where he's. Let's see if he's gonna go back. I think he's gonna go back. Try to. 
Are you guys ready to get her that side? Which way is this going around? You're good. You're good. Good. Good reeling. Good reeling. <laughs> Oh, you're screwed up for a second. Yeah, we got him. He's straight up and down underneath the boat now. This is a decent fish, I think. Let me get the net ready because I think he's a good fish. The way you're nursing. The fish is going where he wants to, it looks like. Deja vu from that 60 pounder. For sure. Good job on easing him up. Very good job on easing him up. This reminds me of my 60 pounder. Wherever right. you go, whoop, whoop, whoop. Bubble. Grayson's playing this fish really, really well. There he is. Oh, he looked pretty good. Hang on, let me, let me get Oh my God. Oh, He's flat another head. big flathead. Big flatty. That's a 30 some pound fish. That's a great fish. Good fish. Like Underneath the belly with it. There you go. There you go. Great job, pal. Right there. Good fish. Turn sideways with him. There we go. There we go. Right there. While it wasn't my personal best, it was one heck of a flathead. We fished a little while longer to see what else we could put in the boat. Is he there? Yeah, he's there. Whenever kind of slow, kind of a funny bite. Another day out on the water trying out these medium action big cat fever rods. Putting them through a little test. Grayson really likes them. He, uh, I like the ones that are easy to bend. They're fun with little fish at least. Yeah, he likes the rod bend on them. Dang, that, that big that fish. That was a good one. A good shot at him there, don't you? Yeah, just be cool with him. Good fish. He really don't want to be on camera. That's a male? Oh, like a male. his mouth big. is really thick, too. Yeah, he got that bigger mouth. A little coloration left to him. That Eat good? Logo. Dude, some of them. Oh, hold it. Alright, hold it. Hold him, you got it on him. I got him. Alright, another one about the same size. Good looking fish. That cruise in the bank. Looks like another male. Get him back alive. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, look forward to seeing you on the water.